If you're familiar with the channel, you're probably aware that we've spent a few days up in Orkney. So I'm delighted to be able to bring you this little bonus video of our flight between Kirkwall and Papa Westry. As you enter what is probably my favourite airport, you'll see the check-in desk on your right. But the Inter-Islander has its own little corner. A place that's free of tickets, ID checks, security lines and questions about how much liquid's in your hand luggage. In an airport where long haul might mean a flight to Glasgow, it's great to see exactly how a terminal should be. Despite its size, there's plenty of interesting things to see, including mosaics in the walls to brighten the place up. I've been to plenty bigger airports that could learn a thing or two from Kirkwall. There's also a great view out over the apron and runway. Here you can see a couple of Saab 340s just arrived from Glasgow and Edinburgh, but if you think these are small... This Britain Norman Islander is a real workhorse up here, dotting around all the wee airfields and islands of Orkney. You'll have seen one of these in my recent call video and it's always a pleasure to fly. This air service is vital to the people of Orkney, so we waited until the last minute to book, ensuring we didn't deny any locals a seat on the flight. At only £20 return, it's a real bargain, but this fare did mean that we needed to overnight on Papa Westry. I'll leave you now to enjoy all the sights and sounds of the flight, but stay tuned to see how we coped on the island, and we might even see you back to Kirkwall again.
the right, right? right. Let's go down and get the door, stay in a wee minute. Thank you. Cheers. That was great. Yeah. So enjoyable. No, they're okay. <laughs> 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 I could have told you that. <laughs> yeah. As I mentioned before, our Loganair excursion fare ensured that we'd have a night on the island, but what a pleasure that turned out to be. We thought it might be a bit of a rough night to be honest, but the island has a cracking little community shop, toilets, showers and even a hostel. Tonight though, we'd be under the canvas, and we took some local advice and headed to a sheltered bay at the south of the island. Yeah, same to you. Welcome to Papa Westry. So from where we are, Papa Westry Airport's just up there. We've been walking it for about five minutes or so. Over there is Westry, so we've actually watched our flight take off again, go over to Westry, and it's taken off again, and that'll be it heading back, probably to Kirkwall, I'd I imagine. So, yeah. What a place. I know, we've been so lucky again, haven't we? Yeah. It could have been horrible. Oh, Papa Westry Hostel? Oh, gosh. There's so much more going on here than I imagined. If you're coming to Papa Westry, no problem. There's even a shop, and that's what we're trying to find just now. There's a petrol station. Of course there is. They need a petrol station, don't they? Opening times. Shopping. Shopping. Um. What's the time? Ten past four. <laughs> Random. <laughs> I'm carrying a tent. I'm carrying a tent. <laughs> she wouldn't let me carry a tent. I think pretty much everything old wood, you know, is not working just stays on the island because it's not yeah. worth to remove it from here if you have so much land. See it in Polish. Snopowiązałka. There she goes. Look at that! Wow. That's cute. I have to take off my jumpers to walk. Ah, could go for a dip. We've selected this beautiful little spot just beside the beach. Now let's see if after two and a half years, we can put up a tent. Okay, it's not the best tent setup you're ever gonna see, but look at our view tonight.
Look at this little waiting room for the ferry. It's open all night, I would imagine. So when we're camping along on the beach, this is perfect to come along to. There's nice toilets in there. And there's even a socket for my phone. When I check my phone, there's not much 4G up here, but there is a bit of G. We arrived just here on the flight, and then we walked down here, do 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 do, went to the little community shop here, and then we continued down, 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 to the very south of the island, and we are at the Bay of Moulet. This is how we spend our evenings. You can't stay in there overnight, but I'm sure if it was absolutely chucking it down, your tent was destroyed, they wouldn't mind. So this is where you catch the ferry to Kirkwall. We'd love to give it a try, but it takes around two hours compared with 15 minutes on the plane. Maybe next time though, and we could even bring the bikes. It's Tuesday morning, we're going to make our way back to the airport now, it was quite a comfortable night. Did you sleep okay? I slept okay. I slept okay. It wasn't cold or anything, but it was just a wee bit uncomfortable. You were washing your hair at 4am, so... <laughs> yeah, I was washing my hair in the toilets with hand soap at 4am. <laughs> That's how bad my life is. Talking about us. Of course, as is the norm for any time we're going to an airport, we got far too excited and turned up too early, especially considering the 10 minute check in and the fact there's no weather spoons here for a morning pint. As noted on the outbound flight, they didn't ask for tickets. Well, in this return flight, they didn't even check our names. What trustworthy faces we must have. Oh, and don't you just love it when the check in gate is, well, a gate? This is the quietest airport we've ever been to. And now she's opening shortbread. We get to have it with a tea. We hung about for a good while, but eventually we started to see some activity. And although we couldn't get tickets for the shortest flight in the world from Westry, this is certainly the first time we've been able to stand at one airport and watch our plane taxi take off and fly its inbound route from another. This is like a really cool version of Flight Radar 24. So with our bags making their way on board, it was time for us to follow them and return to Kirkwall. Once again, enjoy the flight and we'll see you back on Orkney's mainland. All good, oh, yeah. ready to go. Everybody got seatbelts on? Yes. Yep. Yep.
So there we go, it wasn't ideal weather for flying, but between the patches of thick cloud we got some really nice views of the islands at around a thousand feet. We're definitely motivated now though to come back and complete the full Orkney flight collection. Two seconds folks, I'll just get the steps for you. Cheers. Thanks very much. No nice car. Safely back on the ground in Kirkwall, we picked up our bags and made a beeline for the cafe. I hope today's video has given you a little insight into flying inter-island on Orkney, and if you haven't done so already, hopefully you can get up here and sample it for yourself sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Hot rolls and hot drinks, we have looked forward to this for so long. Well, for so long, one night. 16 hours. So that's us back in Kirkwall and after a hot breakfast, we're off to the van. We've only been away for 22 hours. It feels like we left here in summer and we've come back in winter.